Going on to you, uh, Aries, you have the King of Wands, the Six of Swords, you have the Emperor right here. Okay, so for you, uh, Aries, right? Um, this person is just a huge person. It, this person is basically just a walking stop sign. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person is somebody that you are going to avoid because... I'm really seeing how this person literally seems to have a problem with the fact that you Aries are not following for you're not falling for the games that they're playing. Um, a lot of you are being quite patient right now, says the emperor, which is Aries. Um, and this person is being patient, too, in a sense that they're choosing to not give up. And that they want to, they want to, um, they want to talk to you. They're trying to talk to you. They're trying to get to know you and everything like that. But that's not really, that's not actually what's happening here. Right. And, and, you know, like, this is what I mean. This is why it is that like, uh, this is why it is that I, uh, I get at, uh, the, the slow texting. And, and more people are starting to talk about it too, right? It goes to show you that I'm not tripping. It's the society is messed up. Uh, you can't build a relationship with somebody if the two of y'all are playing phone tag. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you call this person and then the person takes like days off, right? Or like, uh, like a week off, two weeks off, and then they call you back. Like, you can't establish a relationship like that. You can't. You know, what you're going to have is a pseudo relationship where it's like you you have to you have to like fill in the blanks, but you're not actually in a relationship. Not really. You're not in a functional one, right? Like you're not in a healthy relationship. This is a relationship where you know this person, but this person by all intensive purposes factually is just an acquaintance like you don't actually know them like that the two of you are not really together like that and why that's so important in the first place is because this is how this person is moving i've talked about how you know this may not even necessarily be a person that you have you, you have talked to this just this could even represent somebody that you've Got, gotten to know fairly recently right like just now fairly recently that's doing this and it's a little bit frustrating for you Aries because it's like why are so many people doing that in the first place and to be quite honest with you the re part of the reason why they're doing it is because again because they think that this is what game is they think that that's what you need to do in order to create a relationship like people's concepts of relationships nowadays is that they think that a relationship is about the person needs to get to know you in time over a long course of time but the way and that's true but the way that they're doing it is unhealthy they're doing it from a perspective of like like I'll like I'll talk to you and like hang out with you and get to know you, but it's it's separated, right? The time, the quality time that we spend together is separated by extensive time or periods of no communication, no contact whatsoever. We could have each other through social media, through Instagram, and everything like that, or we could have each other's numbers and everything like that. But if you call me today, which is Tuesday, I may not call you until next month on a Tuesday. That's not how a relationship can be built. A month just went by of your life. You talking about relationships and milestones and relationships like intimacy and stuff like that. And like being able to cohabitate with the person. Maybe you decide you don't want to cohabitate with them but a relationship where trust can be built. You seeing somebody barely 
there's no relationship that can come out of that. But this is the game, right? This is the game. So it's it effectively what's happened here is it's messed the relationship portion of relationships up. It's made it so that the what people consider relationships to be is a delusional form of it where, you know, even when it comes to, this is what I was talking about. This is what I was referring to at the beginning. Even when it comes to like, I talked about these long time periods where the two of you go no contact, right? Right? That are, that are, that turns out to just be nothing but waste of time, right? Just a waste of time, right? When you really look at it from a, from a, a, a broader perspective, right? Even when it comes to like the, the texting back and forth, right? This is why it is that I don't like, nor do I respect it when people like put me on long drawn out times with text messaging and, and other people are starting to talk about this too, right? And I can show you videos where they talk about it. Other people are starting to talk about it too. It's whack. A person who does stuff like that is lame because and and they're showing that they're whack. They can say whatever they want to. They they're whack. They're they're weird. They can they could act as cool. They're weird. Certified because you having a conversation with somebody. You're just doing it through text, right? Writing. So what happens is. And this is what other people are starting to talk about too. In order for a relationship to actually move forward, you do have to talk to each other in a timely fashion. Because like talking to each, to each other, right? Right? Followed with long drawn out time periods, you taking two, three hours to text back and all this other type of stuff. When you could just pick up the phone and be like, hey, I got something to do. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you a little bit later. I'm handling some business right now. Nobody is going to have a problem if you keep it in the buck and saying, hey, you know, I got something to do. I'm going to go ahead and holler at you. Right. There's not a single person that's going to be mad at that because it's so it shows courtesy. It shows that you respect the person, you respect their time, you respect all of that. But a person vanishing for hours, sometimes days, sometimes weeks at a, at a time, relationships can't come out of that relationships can't be created out of that they can't be birthed out of that there's nothing that's going to happen out of that so effectively both the people are really wasting their time talking about they texting with one another and and or communication this is why it is I, I i don't respect that because what it is is everybody's supposed to be an adult you trying to be reaction seeking trying to get the other person on their nerves because the way that you moving is goofy that's goofy you, you, you understand what I'm saying? I'm not talking about you Aries in particular. I'm talking about the fashion in which people do this because we need to really start asking questions, even using the whole texting thing as an example. Who made that cool? Like who, like who really made that popular or trendy to text people like that, right? Who made that popular to do that, right? These dating coaches, <laughs> these these dating coaches, they 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 amplified that. But who made that popular to do that? You you feel what I'm saying? And these and the thing is that these dating coaches probably made it also and amplified it, right? And then they make it seem like that's the way that you need to communicate. No, it's not. That's the way to ruin a relationship. That's the way I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all the reality of the situation versus the delusion. This is what this person is doing. And the reason why I had to take all that time is because it's frustrating to you, Aries, because you, Aries, understand that that's not how you build a relationship at all. There's nothing that can, that can come out of that. This is how, this is to, to get on that. While I give you more cards, the Five of Swords and the Nine of Cups represents it shows it shows overconfidence it shows arrogance it shows that this person likes to waste their own time because make no mistake about it if you're going to do that to somebody again you can't put time away the same way that you put money away so if you're doing that 
you're wasting your own time doing that because what is the point of talking to somebody in that fashion when you just gonna put down the phone and walk off you just don't get it twisted you may think you and see this is the this is why it is that i say that some people are on a lot of people are on the short yellow bus they're not paying attention to they're wasting their own time as well doing this nonsense they're waste factually they're wasting their own time because you don't do that with because you're wasting your time doing that right like a person who's doing that is wasting their own time doing that because that t same time that they spend or I'll, let me wait how much umpteenth time to text this person back yeah that's umpteenth time that you wasted as well that when you could have just kept it real and been like hey i'll holla at you later or hey you know whatever and and respect your own time and just do what you got to do right and the thing about it though is that that's my point right this person trying to do this to you and you aries know what time it is like if they do this to you then it means that it's a signal for you to just live your life and to excommunicate them, to just dub them, because that's what I do. Like whenever it is that I see people doing that stuff, you've already ruined your you've already you've already dubbed yourself for me. You've already put yourself in the L category. You've already put yourself in a loss, the loser category, because if I text you, you 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 damn right you're gonna be texting me back in a timely fashion. Unless you legitimately have something to do, you've already written yourself off from me. I don't care how fancy you think you are. I don't care how cute you think you are. You've already, because you factually speaking, and, and I'm not even trying to insult anybody, right? A person who's done that, Aries, what I'm trying to get you to understand is they're wasting even their own time doing this nonsense. Why? Because show and prove. Because it's 150 right now. If they take five hours to text you back on some game type stuff, what time is it if they take five hours to do that? It's 650. Now, regardless of whether they handling their business or they not handling their business is irrelevant, right? The mere fact that they the mere fact that they're the mere fact that they're playing this game with you, right? Playing like they have to make you wait before the before they could text you back they just wasted five hours of their time doing this stupid nonsense that's five hours of their life that they'll never be able to get back if their intention is to get to know you they just wasted five hours with this nonsense you you, you understand what i'm saying instead of them just keeping it a buck and being like hey what's going on with you blah, 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 getting to know you or whatnot and then and then closing out the conversation to be like hey well, that's game that's game that is game that's how you text message stop listening to these dating coaches tell you oh yeah wait you're rub this is why a lot of people will quit dating and they'll be like yo y'all because because everybody because so many people look weird because the weird antics and tricks and games it's weird i'm texting you you texting me the whole time then you put down the phone Where have you gone? Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? Where have you gone? Instead of being real gangster, instead of being real individual and being like, yo, I got something else to do. I'm gonna go ahead and holler at you. It's fast. If it's fast and it's and it's courtesy you respect the person's time you're not because the truth is right when it comes to game a lot of people think that creating unnecessary tension and getting on your nerves is how they create is how they create attraction and it's not show and prove why are all these why are so many people because to show and prove that why are so many people single today the reason why so many people are single today is because they tired of the the the, the hard-headedness of the text messaging and then you got to wait on they don't this is what i'm talking about what the dating coaches will come out and make these nonsensical bs videos and talk about the actual factual 
reality of it is that people don't want to deal with that. This is what's going on with you, Aries. This is why I'm talking about it. Because this person is coming to you with that same tired 19 whatever game and you Aries are able to see right through that nonsense and you're like, look, this person needs to this person needs to go back and stop wasting your time because it's a waste of time. So the two and, and because of that, and what I mean by that is the two of cups and the nine of pentacles. You Aries have other things to do. Like this person over here doing this and they kind of calling and texting. You know, you link up with somebody new and whatnot, but then they leaving you kind of dry. They're not really talking to you like that. They just kind of disappearing all that. You Aries know what it is. It's part of the game. So a lot of you Aries are like, nah, it's a dub. Or, and you sh and if you're not, you should be like, nah, it's a dub. You're, that person is a loser. That's what the L stands for. They take a they took a loss. They're a loser. They are accustomed to losing. That's why I hold up the L. The L stands for loser or a loss. They are a loser. Go ahead. They are accustomed to taking losses. They so socially awkward they're raised and steeped and 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 submerged in awkwardness. They think, for instance, all the the people that I've talked to, with, I want to say within the past two months, if they try to create tension with me, I've dubbed all of them. Why you don't create, t you don't create a relationship trying to get on somebody's nerves. That's not how you actually do that in reality. A person that wants a relationship to be created or a person who thinks that a relationship or attraction is built like that, they're, they're a basket case. <laughs> That's not how attraction works. You cannot build attraction trying to constantly get on the person's nerves. That's mental illness is what that is. Show and prove, I can come on now, I can show and prove this. That's stupidity. That's not how you create that. This is why it is that I said it. All these people kicking game, trying to act like they they goofies. Factually is what they are. Matter of fact, somebody in the comment section, if any one of y'all want me to show and prove that, any one of you Aries in the comment section or cross watches can say, hey, listen, I would like to actually see the proof of this. I'll show you the evidence as to what I'm talking about. That all of that trying to create unnecessary tension where it's not supposed to be, that person is a freaking weirdo. That's not how you create attraction. Anytime I see somebody likes it when I take a break, they've already let me know, oh yeah, you're not Mrs. Right. <laughs> Automatically, like, nah, you. So the, the, the strength, the unalive, and the Wheel of Fortune right here is about how a lot of you Aries, right? Because you see this nonsense coming, you Aries are not waiting for them to make up their mind because you see it for what it is. They are a waste of time, factually. Think about it. How many times have you ever had a relationship with somebody that was actually doing that? Never, right? And even if you did get this person, it wasn't a very functional relationship. All of that, see, all of that cheating, creating fights with you sometimes, all that is part of the game. Synthesize. I, I can, all of that is part of the game. Get you upset, challenge you, ignore you, move on with their life, get you to think that, you know, you're never going to see them again. Sometimes you may not necessarily see them again. Get you, you know, thinking about them quite a lot because you, you, your ego is playing mind games with itself because of FOMO, fear of missing out, all this other whack. All of that is whack. All of that is garbage. All of that is basura or filth. All of that is garbage. All of that is whack. All of that is whack because. These types of games is literally the same stuff that people be doing to each other nowadays, using these nonsensical BS manipulation tactics. And all it's doing is creating division. 
this is why it is and I say that at the end of the game at the end of the day everybody got to stop playing games because when a person does this type of stuff to me to me right when I receive this I approach people with respect so when I receive this type of nonsense for somebody that I may potentially uh, want to or I may potentially am talking to right romantically or I am talking to romantically but they pull them games with me in my eyes they're not relationship material to me that's not a person that I want to continue to get to know and why that's important is because the will of fortune you Aries have stopped playing the game yourself you want to understand it but you're not waiting for somebody to give you that call they have to actually reach back to you in a timely fashion they have to actually show you interest forget about all of this game play and all all of that stuff is part of the game i can rattle it off to you from start so let's clarify the wheel of fortune you have the four of pentacles the seven of wands the queen of, of swords the magician and last but not least you have the hierophant to clarify the wheel of fortune the four of pentacles and the seven of wands right here speaks to how um it speaks to how um because the situation for you uh for you is is that you have internal peace that's another thing too that i want to talk about real fast too right to kind of keep filling in the blanks people who don't play games they have internal peace it's only the people who don't have internal peace who's out here playing these games trying to disrespect somebody trying to show like their higher value let me explain something to you fam i've been i've been disrespected so many times in my life because you got a bunch of goofy weird odd balls that think that a person's treatment is is directly tied to how much money and resources they're bringing to the table and how they can lord over that and disrespect other people with it but guess what though you can't buy me with that type of nonsense you can't make me disrespected like that with that type of nonsense you know why because i'm not in competition with anybody else the only person who i'm in competition with is the person that i see in the mirror no exceptions to that ever so all of this nonsense about games and all of you all I'm seeing when I see a person who does stuff like that, I'm seeing a very insecure person who's kind of out of their mind, literally. I'm, and I'm not exaggerating. That's how I see it. Because they so unaware, they're not even aware, they're not even self-aware enough to understand the person doesn't care. I don't care. I don't care. That's how out of touch with reality they can be. So when you, Aries, right, approach this too, when you have, because you a lot of you have, right? Well, well, no, some of you have, but some of you are just now starting to come into that, to that understanding, right? Just now starting to touch that understanding right, real quick, right? When you fully are submerged in that level of understanding, you're going to understand what I'm talking about, why it is, Aries, I say that you shouldn't, like, peaceful people don't play games because they're not, they're not, they don't have a chip on their shoulder. They're not trying to disrespect or show off or shun people or play hypergamy games. They're not trying, they don't care. <laughs> they don't care. The only thing that matters to them I ain't going to say the only thing, but the one of the things that matters to them is their own purpose in life, their own competition, their own self-improvement, their own purpose, not the purpose and trying to be in competition and outrace another person. They're not they're not concentrated on that. They're concentrating on. Am I doing better than where I was? Yes. Great. I'm winning the goal. They're self-motivated. These are people who are self-motivated. Watching people compete with one another looks stupid. 
And, and when I say compete, I'm not talking about it like from a from a sport perspective, right? Like a Simone Biles football. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about these games that don't have value because Simone Biles makes millions off of competition. So we get it. We understand there's literal value in that, right? That's not the kind of competition I'm talking about, the Simone Biles kind of competition. I'm talking about the competition where they want a spiritual cookie for disrespecting you. Like, oh, I got more money than you. What you want me to say? <laughs> Anybody who's a Rick Ross fan will be able to actually catch that reference. I got more money than you. What you want me to say? Great. I'm rich too. Who cares? And... What, what, what? We dangling it now? What, what? Right? We, we, we dangling it now? Like, what is... We trying to see whose dangle is longer? Like, what the, what are we... The Queen of Swords, the, the, the Magician and the Hierophant, right? Represents how you're going to see it like this too. Not because I'm saying that, but, but you're going to see how stupid people look. You've got, you Aries understand that you've got an opportunity, you're living your life how you want, and that now you're freer than ever by challenging these social standards. And you realize that a lot of people have essentially trapped themselves with these social standards. You, you gotta wait for the person to text you back. You gotta do this you gotta do that how about you pick up the phone and say hey i got something to do you know what i'm saying here how about you pick up the phone and say hey i got something to do i'll give you a call back not have them wait you know you know that's that's you know that's lame so that's pretty much it comment on the video like the per like, like the video subscribe to the youtube channel share the video I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to uh, 20,000 subs on my way to 100K. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Hit the notification bell. Set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos. There's a link in the comment section below called a link tree link. Click on it. It will redirect you to a website where there's all the ways to get a personal reading from me, right? Where it'll say Tarot Reading. It'll say um, Amazon Books, right? Right? An Amazon icon will be on the website of my link tree link that will uh, redirect you to uh my books it'll say merch that will redirect you to my clothing line like uh t-shirts uh sweatshirts hoodies sweatpants right and like i said before in the fall time when the weather starts to get cold you're gonna see me wear my own brand hoodies all right thank you peace